Falcon Sawford we do an amazing amount of dance, drama, music and art. I think it's what makes this such an amazing place. You get to try out lots of different things you've never done before and it's super fun. At King's Hallford, the creative arts are valued just as much as things like maths and English. Shall we look around? Let's start here in the outdoor classroom. The ethos here at King's Hallford in relation to the arts is about bringing everybody together. It's about having fun, being creative and expressing yourself in whatever area that may be. Now that could be music, singing, dancing, acting, art, but it's about everybody getting the opportunity and enjoying themselves. It's 8 o'clock in the morning and one of our music groups is already practicing. We've got lots of different music groups. I'm in the jazz group, there's also orchestra, brass group and in here is our guitar group. Let's see how they're getting on. Amazingly, 85% of children at Horford either learn an instrument or have singing lessons. Everyone loves singing at Horford and we do lots of it in assemblies, concerts and Christmas services. We have three choirs. One of them is for the younger children who are learning to sing together. I think creative arts are important for young children as it gives them the opportunity to express themselves uh, through a different media other than academic work. It gives them the opportunity to build confidence, experience something that they may not necessarily experience out there, and to understand and appreciate the learning that can come from it as well. We all work and learn in different ways and, and for the arts for children it's a, a great way to, for creative learning to happen. This is our art room where we get to experiment, paint and make things. I absolutely love creating things in here. At the moment, the year three that are designing mosaics is part of their studies for the Romans. Let's have a look. Of course, we don't just do painting. We do all sorts of things like pottery, sculpture and woodwork. And we design our own models in DT. Lots of children at Horford do Lambda classes. They either come in small groups or on their own. They do various activities like poems, prose reading, monologues and duologues. Let's go find out what this group are doing now. Part of what we do in the Lambda lessons is about being able to speak publicly and confidently. We look at focusing on our clear speech, clear diction, good projection, with a view that these will help them as they move through the school. How many schools have their own dance studio? We do, and it's brilliant. Everyone gets involved in dance at Horford, even the kindergarten children. It's a great way to learn how to listen, recognise sounds and play together. We have lots of different dance groups like ballet, musical theatre and country dancing. This is a dance mix class for the younger children. This is our theatre space. It's called The Barn, and inside the final rehearsals are going on for Greece, which is this year's school production. We've been rehearsing since last term and it's been really hard work, but now that it's coming together it's been really exciting and a fantastic shared experience, one I don't think we will ever forget. It's been a really good experience and I've just loved, it, loved all of it. I liked it all but I think in this past week we've always seen the costumes and the makeup, it's all kind of clicked together but it's all been really fun. So we were all friends before but I think just doing the production made us all come closer and our teachers and everything just made everything just incredible so thank you for the, thank you for the teachers. The good thing is that everyone's involved, it's not just one person does this, one person does this, everybody has something to do. 
We hope we've given you a taste of some of the creative things we do at King's Horford. If you want to find out more, come and see for yourself.